Hi students, welcome to Career360. A couple of days back, you actually had the JE result, and all of you would be wondering what you must do with the JE main result now. Of course, people who have got qualified for the JE advanced, you will start working for the JE advanced. But remember that you may need to start exercising your options through the JE main for all the counseling that happens through JOSA right now. Now, a lot of you would know that unless you get a very, very good rank in JE main, the best of the NITs and the best of the programs, courses that are offered within these NITs, it's very difficult for you to get. But still, for many NITs, the range or the score that you need to get into one of those NITs is very, very easy for you. And what I'm about to show you is those NITs where between 1 lakh and 5 lakh rank, you still have an option of studying at NIT in a course which might not be of your liking or might not be your first choice but still you will be able to still study at NITs. Let me explain to you with details of the kind of cutoff that you have for some of these NITs and how it pans out for you. Right now the first thing that we're doing is how many NITs we have. We have about 31 NITs in the country. We have about 30, 31 NITs in the 31 NITs in the country. And these NITs have about 24,229 seats, right? Of these 24,229, you actually have only 9,296 for general category and about 2,271 for general EWS. So between the general category, we're dealing with about 11,500. 11,500 is what we're talking about, right? And then you have OBC about 6,000, SC at 3,400, ST at 2,000, and the other PW and across categories 1,207. So in all, you actually have 24,229 seats. Now let me explain to you what I, we discussed earlier is what is what are the chances that you will get into a good NIT or decent NIT at 1 lakh and 5 lakh rank. So we're talking of a range of between 1 lakh and 5 lakh. Now, there might be very good NITs between 50,000 and 1 lakh also. We're still not talking about that. We'll do a separate video on that, right? But right now, we're talking of those NITs where between 1 lakh and 5 lakh rank, what are your chances that you'll get in? And this, by the way, we're dealing with it based on home state quota. We're talking of closing rank data is filtered basis, category of admission, home state. Remember this, home state and the category is general category, which is open category. So we're talking of open uh, category and home state. Now, NIT Meghalaya, which is a 68th best ranked engineering college in the country, right? For BTEC Electronics and Communication, the closing rank is 1,2,988. For Mechanical, it's 1,62,491. For BTEC Civil Engineering, it's 1,69,930. And for BTEC Electrical and Electronics Engineering, 1,88,231. These were NIT Meghalaya, which is the 68th best ranked engineering college in the country. So this is a great advantage for people who are stu uh, studying from Meghalaya, domicile Meghalaya. Then NIT Raipur, which is the 71 best ranked engineering college in the country. For biomedical engineering, the closing rank is 1,11,467. Right. And further, for NIT Srinagar, which is the 79 best ranked college in the country, engineering college in the country. For BTEC 7 engineering, the closing rank is 1,6. 1,648. For BTEC Chemical, it's 1,20,403. For BTEC Metallurgical and Materials Engineering, 1,33,070. Right. And again, I repeat, it's for the home state, open category is what we're talking about here. Right. Then we have NIT Agartala, which is the 82nd best ranked college, engineering college in the country. For BTEC Electrical Engineering, it's 1,21,194. Electronics and Instrumental Engineering, 142, 1,42,000. Mechanical, 1,73,000. BTEC and MTEC computational mathematics. This is going to be a very, very good course moving forward because AI is really taking over the world and anything to do with math computational mathematics or mathematics are going to be playing a very, very crucial role. So when you actually get something like this at 1,74,131 rank, you must take it because it's going to be the future of engineering. A lot of people ask me, what is the future of BTEC and what should you study? I always say, Take anything which has mathematics and computing, especially mathematics. Even if you have BTEC in mathematics and anything else along with mathematics, please take it because that's going to rule the world moving forward. Right? Then you have BTEC Civil Engineering at 2,17,289 and BTEC and, and MTEC Engineering Physics dual degree, 2,26,000. This is a dual degree program, but this is in NIT Agartala. Right? Then moving forward, the next one is we are talking of NIT Agartala again. 
the closing ranks obviously are very very low here moving moving ahead so you actually have chemical engineering md physics and dual degree biotechnology and biochemical engineering bs and ms mathematics and computers with dual degree program which is 264000 right bs and ms chemistry dual degree 299000 btech production engineering 301000 so very clearly nit agartala anyone who is staying in the state please look at nit agartala it's a state domicile again i'm repeating but they got very very good programs which are going at a very very low rank and you actually have a great opportunity of studying there right now next one is nit puducherry which is one of the better colleges here uh, it's 97th ranked uh, by uh, nirf but i would recommend you know i think it is slightly better than what the ranks suggest here here in btech electrical electronics engineering 120719 is a closing rank so if you have it please take it then mechanical at 160000 and civil engineering at 260000 this for me is a very very good program if you actually get into it and if you are a resident of that state please look at this program it will be very good for you then the next one is nit manipur which is ranked in the range of 101 to 115 under nrf ranking right computer science and engineering 214000 so this is one of the first you know nits which for cs program you actually have 2 lakh 14958 as the cut off last year remember it is the last year's cut off this year it might change but typically these things don't change dramatically so 2 lakh 14000 for you know cs program at an nit is a very very sweet deal and you must take it if you are a resident of manipur civil engineering at 2 lakh 30000 electrical engineering at 4 lakh 61000 electronics and communications at 4 lakh 76000 and mechanical at 4 lakh 76000 So look at it, NIT Manipur. So any resident of Manipur, pick this up if you have the possibility, right? Then you have Arunachal Pradesh, the uh, where again the NRF rank is between 101 to 150, because after 100, NRF also starts giving a range up to which the rank can be fluctuating. Uh, mechanical at 156,000, electrical at 182,000, and civil engineering at 189,000. Then you have uh, the next one, which is Hamirpur. we again with the same range we are talking about which is uh, 101 to 150 rank chemical engineering at 1 lakh 5000 civil engineering at 1 lakh 11000 engineering physics at 1 lakh 11000 and material science and engineering at 1 lakh 14000 then you have mizoram nit mizoram you know nrf rank again being 101 to 150 right here also you actually have computer science and engineering coming at 7 lakh 12000 rank so if you are a resident of mizoram you have a fantastic opportunity of studying cs at an nit even at such a low rank and you must take it up and the other part i keep saying mathematics and computing right at 7 lakh 43000 so you must be looking at it and then if you no notice this in mizoram obviously because of the kind of state that we are dealing with and the kind of education that we have there seems to be uh, a greater opportunity for you to study at at because i think the number of students who take it from mizoram also is lesser and to that extent you actually have this ranks fall apart across the board for every single branch in at nit mizoram then you have nit sikkim at uh, you know again mizoram obviously i think last year they found been uh, out, outlier in the sense because we had lot of unrest last year hopefully this year the merit will also shoot up dramatically because there seems to be some kind of stability that came in the state but look at it very very closely right then you have nit sikkim with 151 to 200 rank where again in computer science at 1 lakh 43000 also you get into that so you actually have three four states where at more than 1 lakh rank also you can do btech in computer sciences which is a very very good deal if you have that rank right then you have electronics and communications at 2 lakh 9000 AI and machine learning. This is a very good program at three lakh five thousand six sixty two. Electrical uh, electronics three seventy seven. Mechanical at six sixty three, and then civil at thirteen lakh sixty eight thousand, which is possibly the last rank that you can have. Right, and then once these seats are over, you know, once because remember, in the JOSA counselling is only for five rounds. After five rounds, any state that is unfilled goes to CSA, which is called the Central Seats Allocated Allocation Board, and all these seats. are exactly allocated the way the original rule sets are home state being home state and non home state being non home state the rule sets don't change but csap takes over it's a separate independent body which starts allocating those seats that are not filled in the five rounds that josa counseling happened and that is why we're talking about it and here you actually the csap counseling happens through all nits 
all triple ITs and all GFTIs, which is the government funded technical institutes, including central universities. So CSAP's role is to ensure that every single seat is used to the last possible extent and they do a lot of work on that. And CSAP has two rounds of counselling. JOSA has five rounds of counselling. CSAP has two rounds of counselling. In here, if you notice that, and again, we're talking of more than one lakh rank, remember that. In B.R. Ambedkar, NIT Jal Jalandhar, civil engineering, one lakh three forty one. So now we're talking of not just the 9-10 NITs that we talked of, but all the NITs and how many seats were passed on to CSAB because those seats were not filled, uh, you know, filled in. NIT Raipur, B.Tech Civil Engineering, 1,846. Physics Integrated, Rur NIT Rurkala, very good NIT it is at, you know, uh, 1,2,000. NIT Raipur again, Mining Engineering, 1,3,000. Electrical, so NIT Goa, Sar Sardar Vallabhai, NIT Surat, NIT Goa, NIT Raipur and you can keep going on. Remember this, the rule sets don't change. Right. And if you notice this, you actually have every single NIT that is there in the country, mostly getting represented here. Right. You have Rurkala, Raipur, Srinagar and programs that you have here are largely core, if you notice that very carefully, chemistry integrated, you actually see that quite a few times. Right. Then you have BTEC Electrical Engineering for Agartala. We already spoke about that. It's been passed on. So I'm not going to mention the, you know, the seven sisters at this point in time because we discussed that in detail. But you have Rurkala, Jalandhar, uh, Pondicherry, Surat, Raipur, Rurkala. So all these you, uh, institutes, NITs are coming in and you actually have it in a descending order the ranks at which you will get into any of these programs. And some of the better programs are also there, which is includes electrical engineering for a moment, right? And then you have computer science, for example, okay, this is, you know, northeastern state, uh, right? Uh, but you notice that you actually have a lot of, you know, core engineering programs that are passed on to CSAB because those seats were not filled in. And you can still, if you want to study at NIT and you don't mind a branch, then NIT seem to be opening angels up through the CSAP or through the, you know, JOSA counselling also, where some of these branch, you know, NITs are filling in seats in core engineering branches uh, with a lower rank, which is between rank 1 lakh and 5 lakh. And this gives you a complete, data, uh, you know, data set. Let me explain again. You actually have biomedical, which is doing very, very well. Remember this, this is a very good program. And at 1,67,184, you could get it. Then you actually have chemical, materials, electronics and instrumentation. This is a very good program. NIT Agartala, 1,74,091. Then you have electronics, meteorological, chemistry integrated. A lot of chemistry is coming in here. And a lot of biotechnology also seems to be coming here. Electronics uh, and mechanical engineering is coming here. NIT Goa is a very good, uh, you know, engineering college. 1,89,599. You still get a seat there. Right. And then you have, again, electrical, textile, biotechnology, art, AI. There is NIT Sikkim, of course. Meteorological and mechanical, civil mechanical, biomedical. So you see a lot of mechanical, biomedical and uh, chemical that is coming in here. Then again, we are talking of the seven sisters, so I'm not going through that, including Puducherry. Puducherry, you got mechanical at uh, 2,19,000. Then you have Agartala, Agartala. NIT Jalandhar has got textile engineering at 2,98,000. Jalandhar being the, obviously because, uh, you know, Punjab is very good in textiles, they actually created a program for textile engineering at NIT Jalandhar. And that seat is going at 2,98,000 through the CSAP counselling, right? Then Agartala, Goa, BTEC civil engineering is there, right? And then you actually have, if you, uh, Puducherry Karaikal, you got civil engineering at 4,7,961 also. Essentially, what we've got is here, for you, all the students who got the 1 lakh to 5 lakh kind of a rank. On the home state, through the Josam counseling, we gave you a list of NITs where you are still likely to get in. You must obviously belong to that home state, so because we showed open category home state. And then we discussed some of the NITs, the very good NITs, right from Rurkala to Raipur to Jalandhar to Goa and all, which are still having seats, which are being filled in through the CSAP counseling, which is the Central Seats Allocation Board where you still have an opportunity of getting in even if the rank is between 1 lakh and 5 lakh. So, if your objective is to study at one of the NITs, this data is good for you. If you still want anything, please use our, you know, we actually have a product called JE Main College Predictor. Sorry, JEE -E Main College Predictor. So, search for Career360. So you search for career 60 J.E. main college predictor, use the to uh, tool out there, input your data, you know, your rank, your home state, your category or reservation category or not, and then you will be able to exactly understand 
what are the chances that you will be able to study in one of the NITs. The data I showed, remember, is only for about 9,500 seats of the 24,000 that you have because we only showed the open category slash general category and nothing else. If you belong to any other category, including EWS or PWD and anything else, you have greater chances and that goes without saying. I hope this helps you. I hope this helps you in getting into one of the better institutions that, in, that are there in the country, which are the NITs. And if you still want anything else, please come back to us, write to us and we'll be happy to do this video. And lastly and most importantly, tomorrow I'm going to do a video of those students between 50,000 and 1 lakh and what are the chances that you will get into that because that might be crucial for you also and there also I will exactly tell you how you can go about it. I hope this helps. Thank you so much. Namaskar.